Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. And today in the kitchen, we're going to be making pineapple tarts. Now this recipe is a very, very old recipe. The last time I made this, to be honest, was back in the 1970s. And things were a little bit different then. And some of the products that are available then aren't available today. So we have to make them. Now don't forget your recipe is in the description below the video and also while you're down there you'll find a number of playlists that have got recipes there waiting. And if you like this type of content please subscribe and please share. Anyway we'll get right on with the video. And before we start the video just to let you know that this video is made up of four different chapters. Chapter one is making the jam, chapter two is making the pastry shells, Chapter three is making the cream. And chapter four, if you wanna jump straight to the end, is making the tart itself. And for your recipe, you want 510 grams of pineapple. Now best to get the one in the tin, you also want the juice. And all we're gonna be doing is crushing that. And 150 grams of caster sugar. Now you need a bowl. Add in your tin of pineapples with all the juice. Now all you need to do is mash them all up. Now you can use fresh pineapple for this if you want to, but with this it's already had all the, basically the chemicals added in to the pineapple that keeps the like preserves. And just add our sugar in and give that a good stir around. Now we need our hob and our saucepan. So put all the contents into the saucepan and we're gonna now boil her up. And then we'll let this simmer for 20 minutes until it goes all nice and thick. Well, our pineapple jam is almost ready. Good stir around. But it's, it is actually nice and thick. All right, we'll take it off and cool it down. And for your recipe, you want 226 grams of plain flour, 14 grams of water, 28 grams of caster sugar, 56 grams of butter or margarine, 56 grams of white shortening. So the first things we want to do is put our caster sugar in with our water and give that a good stir around so it's sort of dissolved. And now we're going to add our fat into our flour. And all we're going to do is crumb this in so it's all nice and fine. So it's best to have your fat at room temperature. Now a nice little well in the middle. Now we're going to add our liquid in with our sugar. And you make this into a bit of a dough. Well, there's our pastry done. And what else do we need for the job? Yep, a rolling pin, a knife, and a cutter. And obviously with the cutter, we need a tray. Now this is a tray, which we're gonna be using. It's a Yorkshire pudding tray. And the cutter does fit nicely in those little holes. And before we use the tray, it's important thing is to grease up your tin. So on my eBay store, I sell this prep spray. This is preparation spray for doing tins, trays, anything like that, bread tins. This is really good stuff. And once again, you get it off my eBay store. What we need to be doing now is rolling out your pastry. Put down some flour first. You don't want to get too much flour on the table, really. Okay. 
Now we're gonna be rolling this down to about three millimeters thick. Put your knife under it. That's about right. And then all we do is just cut them out. And we place them onto our tray. And then we just gently push them into the middle. There you go. It's as simple as that. These are the shells I did earlier. As you can see, I stamped them out in the bakery because they've got that nice fluted edge around there. Obviously a little bit different to these ones. Not much in it, is it really? We fill them just the same. And for your recipe, you want 180 grams of caster sugar, 42 grams of egg yolks, 180 grams of unsalted butter, and 56 grams of boiling hot water. The important thing is to get your butter at room temperature, also your eggs at room temperature as well. Don't forget you need your boiling hot water. And also another good thing you could do with is the thermometer. This is just to check your temperature. Right, what we need now is a saucepan and a hob. And the first thing we need to do is put our water into our saucepan. Because this is nice and hot, this will be, get the temperature a lot quicker. Add in our sugar. Now we want to heat this up so it's 116 Celsius. But we don't want to overboil it. Now all we need to do is dissolve the sugar. So as soon as you eat that 116 Celsius, you need to just take it off the heat. And that's it. So we've now reached our temperature. So it's all nice and dissolved. So the next thing we need is our mixer. So if you've got one of these beaters, they're just ideal for this job. And we'll fit this onto the machine. Now into the bowl, you wanna add in your eggs and put in your hot liquid. And we're gonna get this mixing straight away on medium speed. Now we wanna keep mixing this until it gets nice and white. This can take up to around about 10 minutes. Right, it's now ready. So all we need to do now is take it out the bowl and put it into a separate pot. Now we want to set this aside so it goes nice and cold. So the next thing we're going to do is add in our butter. So we've got our butter in. Now we need to do is mix this up so it's nice and light. And when it's white, it's ready. You can now knock it up onto top speed if you want. I wouldn't go too heavy with it because these motors aren't made for it. Now it's nice and light, we'll start adding in the egg mixture. Right, we'll start mixing it. Going back to second speed. And we'll start adding in our mixture. Now you want to get this nice and light now. Well, the cream's ready. And for your recipe for your pineapple tarts, you want your pastry shells you made earlier. Also, you need your continent or cream. And also, we made 
the pineapple jam. Now, pineapple jam may be available off the shelf in the supermarket, but I've never actually seen it myself. And now it's time to put our oven on. Now our oven temperature wants to be around 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. Now this may need adjusting slightly, depends on your oven. And the next thing we're gonna be doing is filling our shells with pineapple jam. So we'll start by filling our shells up. Now don't get it right over the edge, you just wanna get it in the center. We've now filled our shells. Now we're ready for baking. Now we're gonna be baking these off for around about 15 to 20 minutes. So the edges are just starting to turn brown. Not black, but they wanna be as light as possible really, but baked. Anyway, we get them into the oven. While the shells are ready, I'll go and get them out of the oven. Well, there we go, folks, all ready. Now all we need to do is let these cool down for around about, well, I'd say, give it a good half an hour. And if they're still not cool, wait a bit longer because you really now want them to be cool because we're going to be piping our cream in the middle. Now this is the cream I did earlier. Now it's important that if it's a bit tight, pop it back in the machine with a bit of milk and whip it back up and it'll go nice and soft because if you've made it up earlier, your cream goes back to a solid form because of the butter. Also, you need a piping bag. It's not necessary. You can actually put it on with a pallet knife if you want. But this is a straightforward plastic piping bag with a small tube in. You don't have to use a tube. I'm just doing that for a bit of neatness, to be honest. And you get these bags off eBay or Amazon. Now this should be enough. So I'm gonna start in the middle and just work out. You don't really need loads of cream in it. Well, that's our tart ready with the cream on. So what we'll do is make up the filling. I'm gonna be using fondant. There is a recipe down in the description if you wanna make your own fondant up. Alternatively, you can use icing sugar and water. Now the recipe for that is five tablespoons of warm water and 350 grams of icing sugar. Just make sure you sieve it first. Put it in a machine or mix it by hand so it's nice and smooth. And at the same time, what you want is a bit of yellow color in it. You don't want to make it bright yellow. You just want to make it just sort of an off whitey. I'll leave that down to you because if you want to make it bright orange or bright yellow, that's entirely up to you. Now, once we've put our topping on, what we need is some um, diced up pineapple. This is to just go on the top. In the old days, it used to be like glacé cherries and you could cut it up, but this is the product. You can get off eBay or Amazon, but don't buy what I bought. I mean, you can, you can get this from the supermarket in little packets, but I decided to get a big packet because I'm gonna use it for other things. Right, we'll get on with the icing. So that's your icing ready wants to be like that. And also you need another bag and a piping tube. Now if we start from the middle and just let it flow out. It should just work its way down itself. And once they're all iced, all we need to do is put a few pineapple bits on the top. And it's as simple as that. And don't they look good? And don't forget your recipes in the description. And also down there you'll find a number of playlists which are also recipes as well. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly in the Crazy Baker kitchen on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes.
reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!